In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice the triangle inequality theorem. So example A says, do the lengths 4, 11, and 8 make a triangle? So first I'm going to rearrange these numbers into order from smallest to biggest. So if that's 4, 8, and 11. And according to the triangle inequality theorem, in order to make a triangle, the two smaller numbers have to add up to be bigger than the largest number. So let's check. 4 plus 8 equals 12. And 12 is greater than 11. So that means that we're good, and this does make a triangle. So the answer would be yes. In example B, it says, find the length of the third side of a triangle if the other two sides are 10 and 6. So we know two sides of the triangle. So let's draw in possible triangles. 10 is one side, and 6 is the other. And it might look sort of like this, or it could be a bigger obtuse type triangle where there's an obtuse angle and the third side is the longest side. So if we think about these two possibilities, it will give us the two extremes for our inequality for the possible side lengths for the third side. So for the lower constraint, this side right here has to be greater than 4. Because if it was less than 4, then it would add up with 6 to be a number that was less than 10. So this side has to add up with 6 to be greater than 10. So that's why it has to be greater than 4. On the other extreme, if we're thinking for the upper limit, this side can't get too big because then it won't work with the 6 and the 10. Since 6 and 10 are the shorter sides, this side has to, add, has to be less than the sum of 6 and 10. So in other words, it has to be less than 16. So that 6 plus 10, 16, will add up to be greater than this third side. So that means our third side has to be greater than 4 and less than 16. If we think of our third side as x, it means that our third side x could be anything greater than 4 and less than 16. So there are many different possible third sides, but it just has to fit in this constraint. For example C, it says, the base of an isosceles triangle has length 24. What can you say about the length of each leg? So an isosceles triangle has a base of length 24. So if we draw that in, that side's 24 and the two legs we know are congruent. So in order to make this work, it means that these two other sides must add up to be bigger than 24. Because if they were less than 24, it wouldn't make a triangle. So if we call these two sides x, we know that x plus x must be greater than 24. Or in other words, 2x has to be greater than 24. So x, which is each side length, has to be greater than 12. So we know that the length of each leg has to be greater than 12 in order to work with the triangle inequality theorem. Note that the legs couldn't each be exactly 12 because then it actually wouldn't make a triangle either. It has to be lengths actually greater than 12. 